Cheers and welcome my friends. I'm Altrak and we are playing Imperator Rome. We're playing with the migratory tribe of Teutonia. This is still our pre-release series. At least we started it pre-release. Um, we have a bunch of migrants coming back home from the east where we try to pick up more population. Our recent ruler died so now the oratory power gain isn't all that huge anymore but it's still fine. Uh, it's still fine for this kind of strategy. We're getting ready to settle this province, the province of... Uh, What's it called? ESC gear. And then we still gotta go for Albuquensia. That has to be a thing. Wait a second. That's why we... Really? Oh, to Latensia. Oh, so that actually stretch, that stretches down here. That's interesting. Okay, I did not know that. Did not think about that. Okay. So we gotta get this area. For sure, I'll do my best. For now though, it's just uh, the main thing is just getting our migrants back home and not running into a crazy deficit. And we have provinces uh, losing loyalty, we had it. And now loyalty is actually going up for this one. Loyalty is also going up for this one, not for that one though. Well, let's just hope that the pop conversion over time that happens over here is gonna be enough. And then as soon as we're rid of the migrants, I think we're gonna go back to the uh, to paying super high wages to get our guys up in loyalty. I feel like that is all, almost a must if you're in a situation where you need the loyalty of your population at all. People are coming home now, and they're losing 1% due to winter, but let's just hope they don't get attrition to death. That would be awesome. Still got one more province to fill, and the rest we can just conquer from these guys. They actually only have one ally. Okay, yeah, come at me, barbarians. Come at me. Wham. Guess we get nothing for this? Okay then, sure. <sighs> no leader. Yeah, we could unlock another military tradition, but I'd rather save my points until we can maybe catch up and tech a little bit. Which is... Maybe that's actually more important than um, gaining even more pops. Just uh, trying to improve the quality of our pops once we've gained all of Dark here. Maybe we won't push north. Maybe we just settle all of this and then sort of contain ourselves a little bit. We could maybe make a bunch of our neighbors into, into tributaries. That is definitely something that we can do. Let's go for this. So at least we're no longer on minus one stability. Hey, look at that. So province loyalty is slowly but surely going up. That guy is a much better administrator than our previous leader. Doesn't quite bring in the same amount of oratory power, but we'll live with that. Can totally live with that. Okay, that's like 42 pops over here. We could just settle them all into the capital, but I don't think that's quite worth it <laughs> at this point. Because they're going to be tribesmen. But I think maybe we'll just Patridava land. Dispute between the clans of Lake Croak, Tancred, and Tancrund Makolos has arisen as both of them want certain valuable lands in Patridava. Both claims have their claims to the land. What? Both clans have their claims to the land, and supporting one of them over the other could end up with disloyalty from the spurned clan. Both of the chiefs have offered to support the nation with gifts if they are given the land. Uh, someone has offered us more troops, the other money. Uh, yeah, we kind of have to take the Tancred Marcolos uh, stuff. 
He's likely the next chief. Horrible administrator, so... Tank room Macaulay's case sounds right. We could also split the land. No one gets happy. We gotta do this. So... Okay, that brings us up to 64, not 74. Okay, 64 pops. It should be enough to actually settle this place, I hope. So we'll do this. Okay, so we've 64. Um, I think now is as good a time as any to settle this place, considering we're slowly but surely bleeding away all our money. Right, so, Grissia needs four. This place needs one. Okay, this place over here needs three. This place needs four. Okay, that one, five. Right, yeah, five. That one needs seven. It's probably the future capital of this place. This place needs four. This place needs one, two, that's six, that's eight. And this place needs three. Both of these need three, but I think we... Do we have anyone going here? I don't know, to be quite honest. Maybe we'll just let him, let him move out now and find out afterwards. gift okay thank you I appreciate that sending me gifts and all it's always well well approved well appreciated it's not gonna change that you live on my land but when I settle into here migratory tribe I wonder if I shouldn't just eradicate them but if we have loyal provinces over here, we can just take that stuff over. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like we send anyone here. So we need three here, three here. Feels like we're still missing a couple of provinces. This one over here, Crezia, needs seven. Okay. So that is still 15, 15k above that, really. Lately, our people have started to move out of Angustia, begun spreading out across our lands. It will be almost impossible to keep our people united if central authority is weak. If we wish to keep our tribes as unified as they have been for a while, we will need to take more active measures. Our magistrate Patipo Natoporos believes our people can be reasoned with, while our war chief recommends a more hands-on approach. So, 
Centralization. Lose three centralization. I think we're fine with that because we have like that constant uptick from that law, right? So our people have always been on the move. Don't worry about this. It'll be all right. So we have still 15 cohorts that we can use to settle additional places and soak up more people. I think that's what we'll do. Awesome. Really happy about this strategy. Okay, look at that. The barbarians are actually throwing themselves on our swords. That's beautiful. Just keep at it, buddy. This is this is the perfect strategy for you. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, look at this. You're doing you're doing well. Leather. Okay, this actually doesn't look too good now. God damn it. Ooh, that was that was close. That was really close. <laughs> Get punished right away. Yeah, I have no idea why these guys are still able to loot this place. I mean, they got immediately engaged as they entered the province and got crushed. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll settle this province now. So... Okay, okay, okay. So we have this province. Um, loyalty is going up, but we gotta go cultural assimilation to assimilate all the guys that are non Teutonians. And then we still kept 15, 15 Teutonian uh, migrant pops. That's interesting. Yeah, another slave to Sadaba. Love it. Almost at the point where we can get an additional unit of gemstones out of it. Hmm. 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 What's the growth looking? 0.16 is gained. Man, I'm also very tempted to just put a marketplace in this. And if push comes to shove, I can always resettle people away from the capital. Although maybe one more, one more grain, one more grain thingy might be nice. Okay, so we got this. Let's just check for the last time what we what we need. So this is. Oh wait, this is still put a Latensia. Albosensia. No, this stuff belongs to someone though, right? City of Why are these all named the same? Potolatensiana. Okay. Right. Okay, sure. So, um, two and seven is nine, eleven, sixteen, eighteen, twenty three, twenty eight. 34. So we need 34 plus uh, to conquer the, the adjacent stuff. That's interesting. Should also be doable. We already got 15, so. Who are your friends? So Denzia is your only friend. Aren't these guys super inviting to attack? I have no war exhaustion right now. Ah, oh, I'm sorely tempted. That will give us that will give us the rest of Darkia over here that we're missing. And this also belongs to Sordensia, it needs to go. What about Potolatensia? Who's your friend? Receives tribute from Avosensia. That's all. These guys have no friends. Big problem is we have to go and sustain a no CP war. 
Um, stability effect might be kind of nasty with that, so maybe not. Maybe we'll wait a little bit instead. Um, let me check. Where are more pops that I can collect? <laughs> Three, five... Do we want to collect over here again? That's five... That's six... That's seven tribesmen. No, I guess that is... Yeah, that belongs to someone. Okay, four... That's five. I'm not sure if these are all that great. Let me just move over here. But then again, I kind of want to colonize these areas, so it's probably not worth it. There's a area with six pops. And there's another area with six pops. I think we could just go and do okay with sixes. I'm thinking. So we'll send... One of them here. Another one over there. Right. That looks good. We'll just keep the two the three K back at home. That's that's fine. It's totally fine. problem. So what did I say? 34? 34 pops to fully settle this? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, it just looks ugly. It's a lot of border gore inside our lands. Don't want to waste any oratory power on fabricating claims. What? It was struck down whilst attempting a murder. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess you you had it coming, my man. He must have had... Yeah, he was an elder. He really should have known better than to do a thing like that with starving pops and dolum. Because of looted, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. That hurt quite a bit. Having those barbarians come into our lands. I think we might have to go for like a border fortification stuff just keep it keep it fine inland but water fortification should be okay yeah i think that that might be better we'll just settle dark here and maybe go for one or two more um drives where we pull people into our lands and look at that we have reached 600 pops getting there i mean that's the starting pop amount for Macadon, and yeah, look at Thrace. They had 752. You can definitely get there. 600 pops um, makes us a lot bigger than these guys. I think we might be the biggest barbarian kingdom out there. Really looking forward to the ledger being introduced. Ah, these guys are actually quite big. Settled tribe, 506 pops. Bohemia, 122. These guys are also settled tribe with almost 500. So, and yeah, there's another one. So. But we're among the biggest now. We're definitely among the biggest settled tribes. These guys are smaller than we are. I mean, it would be kind of nice if we could have like a thousand pops in Darkia. That would be pretty awesome. And then just from those thousand pops, we just... Now oh, we're no longer importing horses. That's very disappointing. And apparently we can't continue to import horses. Alright then. Be that way. If you think that's if you think that's good. We really would like to get some precious metals. What about leather? Surplus in the capital. Light infantry defense. That's actually pretty good. Let's get that from Gitia. Why not? Okay, we'll put another granary in Sudava. I guess a major war must have ended. Looks like it, yeah. That's why they're all like, yeah, military access to your lands? Nah.
We don't need that. Shoring up defenses. The denizens of the shining city of Angustia have been feuding with their neighbors in Hagita. As a result, an impressive fortified wall is being erected. Okay, well... Yeah, they can't anymore. They already have the thing. Which means they will just give us military power. I like that, that you get something as a replacement. Okay. We have already converted 28 pops now. Or assimilated 28 pops. How's the population structure for this area? We have a couple of freemen. Now the freemen will move into becoming citizens. We're slowly but surely losing it. Yeah, this place, for example, has no more tribesmen, interestingly enough. Lots of slaves in these areas. Okay, is winter creeping about. Ah, we're making some money again. This is actually pretty good. Uh, you want grain? Sure, you can have grain. Settle down. These guys are already too istic. That makes me pretty happy. Let's assimilate. Uh, and with that, we can just pack up and go, I guess. <laughs> Let me just check the population map mode. We have three pops back home. That's another six to be had over here. By doing this, I also take some possible potential power from my neighbors. That's a five. Ah, oh, this belongs to someone though. Tauritia. Is there something in Germany that I can take? Yeah, there's seven over here. City of Devona. Ooh, Marciana. Two, three, that's five. Yeah, awesome. That's the maximum that I want. So we sent ten over there. Right. We're gonna give these uh gotta give these guys a leader so they're ready. But we'll come over here to Marciana. Steal those pops. That's totally fine. I'm sure nobody's gonna be incredibly mad about this. Don't mind me. I'm just a local population vacuum. Scooping people up left, right and center. Assimilate. This guy's already too stick. And get up again. Man, that is some quick and dirty um, population grab. <laughs> Two, four, one. So that's another seven. And there's a seven here. Awesome. There's also a six here. But yeah, these two sevens could be nice. Which actually, this, this will give me two sevens if I do this. Getting the oratory power to get them all out again might be difficult, but getting the thing done might be fine. We'll send you here. We'll send you here. Or do we have any better targets? This has six, six, six. Uh, this belongs to something. Yeah, most of these are already settled. This is seven, 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 and this already belongs to someone, so yeah. Pretty difficult to find unsettled stuff that is high population now. This is a seven.
from one clan to another. One of our clan chiefs has suggested moving some of the people of the clan of Lake Rock Tancrate to his own rule instead. Not only would they be under a new ruler that would be more loyal, but has promised to unify the people under his rule as well. Yeah, we don't really need that. Oh, no, he's already pretty mad. Hmm. Lose money and civic, civic power for this. To piss the other guy off. Sure, I guess. Um, this reminds me though, I kind of have to pay, pay higher wages. It's just how it goes. We need more loyalty here from people. Okay, at least the attrition here wasn't too bad. That makes me pretty happy. So considering we get 28 over here and then 20 from the other thing, that makes us uh, gives us 48. And with these guys gives us 51. That's actually enough to settle this place. Right. So that's nice. And then we still have a smaller unit that can hoover some stuff up. We're no longer importing leather. Come on, just make up your mind. Either export the stuff to me or don't. Horses from Skudis. Yeah, so these guys are willing to do that again. Yeah, could still go for the National Unrest Omen, I guess. It's gonna make fighting a war more difficult though. Um, how's the loyalty going? Not having the lo not letting the loyalty drop that far is kind of ideal. <laughs> Let me just check the culture. So, Teutonic, Teutonian, 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 Teutonian. So this is the only this is the only province that really causes us problems currently, because we have still a lot of Darkians in there. I'm just going full conversion might be better. Let's check the culture map mode. Ah, uh, yeah, no. There's still a fair few um, Darkians that need to be switched over here. But we're slowly but surely spreading to Tonian, spreading to Tonian over here inside the area of the Darkins. Which is quite funny. Okay. Settle down. What? Okay, these both belong to Nehavalia. All right. Give you... Oh, I'll give you Bar Baldrick Macolius. That guy's great. Look at that. Um, simulate. Combat. So that's not our main religion. Same here. Simulate convert. Hmm, I could just pack up and go here right away. We might be the target of these guys. I don't know. There might also be barbarians around. Yeah, there are barbarians here that have recently popped, though, so... Yeah, it's 28 together with the other guys at home. Hmm. Kind of would like to wait until we can pack all of these guys up and just go. Which, we're getting there, right? We need 102. So yeah, we actually got it. We actually got it. We can just go there and send everyone back home then. I will be all right. I wouldn't mind actually finishing the settlement of Darkia soon so we can start with uh, some proper internal development, getting a lot more citizens, getting a lot more civilization. Um, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it took us a while, but I'd say we've been very successful so far. 600 pops now. I like it. Almost there with these guys. Uh, you want vegetables? Yeah, sure. Have the vegetables. Have all the vegetables. Can't believe that no one's colonized this place yet. Okay, that also relieves the pressure on my finances a tad, because we're no longer paying uh, 
A lot of army maintenance. That's good. But we are, we're profiting from being a very rich country. We've got 62 cities now. Although you've got to take away three, I think. So we've got 59 in Darkia proper. I wonder if we're going to be able to reach the 100 just by staying inside Darkia. It wouldn't be nice. It would actually be nice to be a major pirate. So maybe we'll just colonize into Zandia a little bit. Or conquer a little bit south towards um, Thrace. All right, for now, though, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.